What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you three simple steps to start a KDP low content book publishing business. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you three simple steps to start a KDP low content book publishing business. Now, here we are in my Get Book Report. This is my software, my preferred software, to get all of the data for my books. Now, with my books, we can see I've got 4,051, and I've made close to six figures. That's $95,430. Now, the way that I created this income was sticking to the three main steps that I'm about to talk about in this video. So... If you're brand new to low content book publishing and you haven't even been building out your library, you don't have any books published, but you want to get started, there's three main tasks, steps, that you need to focus on each and every day. Now, what is that? Well, that's research. So we need to research, then we need to create. So we need to start creating the books from the research that we did. And then we need to upload those books as well. So these three main steps, these tasks, these IPAs, that's an income producing activity. An income producing activity is any task that results in income in your business and that moves your business forward. Again, those three main tasks are researching, uploading, no, sorry, they're researching, creating, and then uploading. So, broken down into its most simplest form, these are the three tasks that you need to focus on, your IPAs, your income producing activities. Now, why is that? Well, without researching, you're not going to have any books to create, and without creating any books, you're not going to have any books to upload, which in turn means no sales. Now, this is very important when you're first starting out. If you have a KDP library and you're getting consistent sales, then you don't have to be as regiment as what I'm talking about right now. If you're brand new, then focus on these three areas. Again, researching, creating, and uploading. Now, what you want to do is incorporate one of these three tasks into your everyday life and you do this for long periods of time so you need to work on one of these three areas researching creating and uploading stay consistent at working on one of those three main areas each and every day and do that for long periods of time that's exactly how i got to 95 thousand dollars earned in royalties now it's all well and good saying focus on one of these three areas that's researching creating and uploading focus on one of those three areas each and every day and for long periods of time but when it actually comes to focusing on one of these three areas most people get stuck on the first one and that's researching. Now, researching is actually the easiest part of low content book publishing. There's a million different ways that you can research ideas and niches for your low content books. Now, what I'm going to do, because I've been waffling on for quite some time, what I'm going to do is just share with you one of the easiest ways to find niches for your low content books or to find ideas for your low, low content books. Now, one thing I do want to note really quick, and that is the LCB Vault. Now, we're in November, which means that Black Friday is going to be at the end of the month. I can't remember what day it is. Possibly, is it the 26th? I'm not too sure. Either way, because it's going to be Black Friday, we're going to have our usual huge Black Friday sale. Now, if you're interested in that, stick around till the end of the month, or sorry, should I say the middle of the month, 
because that's when we're going to be having our sale. We're going to be having our sale for two weeks. Now, one thing I want to note really quick as well is that currently we have four courses in one. That's Kids LCB, Q4 Profits, Simple Coloring Books, and then all of the trout, trout? <laughs> all of the Vault training lessons. So just within the LCB Vault alone, there's a hundred videos training videos just in the vault but then we also have kids lcb q4 profits and simple coloring books and soon to be our brand new course called low content case study where i'm going to be building a little mini brand on amazon and documenting the whole journey but my point is that's going to bring up the lcb vault to five courses in one so again if that's something that you're interested in stick around till mid-month and that's when we're going to be having our black friday sale anyway back to here because something that i want to cover and that is researching 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 that's the part where you should be spending the most time well to begin with anyway but how do you research well there's a million different ways like i said before now, the best way is to come up with your idea first. So you want to figure out what type of book, what type of low content book that you want to publish. And then we can go from there. We can start niching down once you have that first idea. Now, to get your first idea can be very simple. Someone here has put together on their website 32 types of low content books, ideas for your KDP self-publishing business. Now, what I'll do is link this website down in the description below, just so you can go ahead and click through and have a little look because there's some really great ideas. But from here, you can use this low content book list for ideas and then we can start diving deeper. So right off the bat, there's 32. They've complied, uh, compiled an extensive list of types of low content books that you can self-publish on Amazon. If we take a look, we can get some ideas. So they've got journals. Now, when it comes to journals, the niches for journals are absolutely everywhere because everything is a journal niche. This can be animals, pets, hobbies, food, sports, jobs. The list goes on. Like absolutely everything can be a niche for a journal. A journal, a notebook, composition notebook and colouring books. Those types of books has literally thousands of niches. But right here, journals. So the sub niches, they have lined journals, blank journals, dot grid journals, manuscript paper. I wouldn't really put that under a journal. Same with guitar, tablature, notebook. But then they also have prompt notebooks. So a sub niche, writing prompts, drawing prompts. Then there's planners, gratitude journals, one day a line, or one line a day, five year journal. I did actually do one of those books couple of years back and it didn't actually do very well for me but then there's log books coloring books activity and puzzle books games kids learning books this right here is just a small list of the amount of low content book types that there actually are there's literally probably thousands of different book types that you can create for KDP. Again, it all starts with coming up with that idea first. And we can do that just by checking here. So again, journals, prompt journals, planners, logbooks. Now with logbooks, there's literally hundreds, probably thousands of niches. And then there's coloring books with practically the same. But what we want to do is use one of these so we can start diving deeper. Now, one of my favorite niches or book types to research is coloring books, just because there's literally so many niches out there. So let's take this idea, coloring book. And let's just go over to Amazon so you can see just how easy niche research can be. So what we want to do, put in that book type. We're going to put coloring book. Now we can go back to the beginning of this keyword, the keyword being coloring book. And now we can start putting niches within here. Now remember, an easy way to find niches is just by searching Google. We can look up lists of animals, pets, sports, hobbies, foods, 
jobs and things like this. Then once you have that list in Google, we can use that research to see if there's demand over here on Amazon for that niche. So, right off the bat, let's think of some animals. Sloth coloring book. We can see Amazon is auto-populating keywords. Why are they auto-populating the keywords? Well, that's because that's what people are searching for. So I've typed in sloth coloring book and Amazon's given me suggestions of for adults, kids, eight to 12, four to eight, toddlers, teens, girls. Right here is all of the keywords related to sloth coloring book, which people are searching for. If no one was searching for a sloth coloring book, there would literally be no keywords. So this, just using this alone, using Amazon and Am Suggestion Expander, that's this extension just here, bringing up all the extra keywords. But just by using Amazon and the Am Suggestion Expander, you can do all this completely for free. Now, another tool that I like to use is Self Publishing Titans Chrome extension, which again is completely free. This you can get there by going to selfpublishingtitans.com, download this extension right there, make sure you've turned it on, and this is going to tell you if a niche is profitable. So I could go through all of these just here, because remember, for adults, kids, or eight to 12, four to eight, toddlers, teens, girls, these are all different types of books. See, if you were to create a sloth coloring book, you could create one for kids, you can create one for adults. You could be more specific and create one for kids ages four to eight, or even toddlers, or just girls. So these keywords are here. Um, no, these keywords here are all different types of books that you could create just for sloth coloring book. But again, you'd have to dive a little bit more deeper, doing a little bit more research to see if it's a book that you'd want to create, because not every niche that you find is going to be profitable. But again, with coloring books, there's thousands of niches. You could go through a whole list of animals. Then you could go through hobbies, foods, sports, and anything like that. Then, once you actually have your niche, so let's take the sloth coloring book as an idea. You can even dive deeper in that by targeting, like I said, adults, kids, 8 to 12, toddlers, teens. So, we have the book type, then we'd have the niche, and then we'd have who it's for. So right here, we could do four, and then we have these different types of demographics. Four to eight, eight to 12, and then there's toddlers, teens, girls, women, adults, all different types of books. So now I could go through each one of these using SPT's Chrome extension to see if that niche is profitable. Now, what I just shared with you can be done with most of these book types here. Not really log books, but coloring books, activity books, and then planners, no, activity books, coloring books, then notebooks and journals literally have thousands and thousands of niches. So that's an easy way to do niche research. But remember, the research is just one aspect that you need to focus on each and every day. One day you could do niche research, let's say for an hour. The next day you can start creating. Maybe you spend an hour or two on creating. And then the third day you can upload your books. So this is the three main tasks, your IPAs, remember your income producing activities. These are your three IPAs that you need to be focusing on each and every day. Now, I don't mean all in one day, but one aspect of these three IPAs you should be working on each and every day and for long periods of time. And again, that's how I got to $95,000 earned in royalties from creating and selling low content books. I focus on creating, no, sorry, I focus on researching because again, remember without the research, you're not going to have anything to create and without creating anything, you're not going to have anything to upload and without uploading anything, you're not going to be building out your library and you're not going to be making very many sales. So again, work on one of these three areas each and every day and for long periods of time. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. 
also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.